Sasha Nicole, and you already know what it is. We are taking over for Hype Magazine, and we are wrapping up the Hello Taiwan tour, and we are here with the one and only Tua Ki. Yes. Did I say that right? Yeah, correct. Okay. Right. <laughs> I thought I was going to mess that up. So, I mean, we just wrapped up a really great weekend. It was Passport to Taiwan Festival yeah. that happened the other day, yeah. and you actually made a performance. Yes. How was it like being on stage? Yeah, it was good. It was good to uh, do some Taiwanese raps to make those Taiwanese at the festival feel like they are in Taiwan. And it was also good to show those non-Taiwanese people there uh, the music from Taiwan. Right. And you know what I feel like is interesting is that whether you speak the language or whether you don't, yeah. the message that you put across with your music, I feel like it, it speaks throughout you know, different language barriers. Anybody can relate to your music. Is that like intentional for you? How do you feel about that? I, I think it's cool. It's cool because uh, good music should not be buried by languages. Definitely. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. So, I mean, you've been doing your thing. You've been out here. You've been touring. You've been doing performances, dropping killer songs. I mean, you've featured with Nas, Twi Tyler Kweli, I mean, Wu-Tang. I mean, you've been out here for a minute now. And um, what I like, seeing the dynamic between some of your music before and your music now, it's, yeah. it's a transition, you know, yes. before your music was a little bit more assertive, you know, but now you, you talk about triumph, you talk about overcoming things, you talk about life. Yeah. Was there anything that happened in your life in particular that made you, you know, have a different state of mind? Yeah, there was an uh, incident, actually. The incident was, uh, uh, is I adopted my first kid. Oh my God. Yeah, because in my old days, I used to write a lot, lots of decent lyrics, promoting di lyrics uh, to those pop stars or politicians. But later on, I realized it would be much more meaningful if I could use my mic to speak up for those trade animals. So that's why I have become a vegetarian. And yes, okay, so <laughs> everybody's doing this, being becoming a vegetarian. Yeah. I mean, it's a little, I will say it's a little hard for me to kind of get in there because I kind of like my meat every now and then. What would you say, what piece of advice can you give to anybody trying to make the transition? Check out my video on YouTube oh. called The Window of Butchery. Is it going to scare me? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I, maybe I need a good scare to kind of get me into it. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, you also talked about um, collaborating with some mainstream artists in order to help get your message across. Like you talked about Jay-Z. You talked about Beyonce. Yeah. Who else are you looking to collaborate with? 
Uh, now I'm trying to connect with uh, Joy Bass and uh, Action Branson. Awesome. Yeah, because now I'm trying to like extending my market into US. So right. I'm trying to get as more as uh, possible those like young rising rappers to help me to do that. Awesome. And, you know, with the messages, the positive messages that you're trying to put out there, you're also looking to incorporate some non, you know, musical influences as well. Who are you? Who else are you looking to collaborate with? Actually, I just did a collaboration with uh, our new president, Tsai Ing-wen. She just uh, inaugurated last Friday. And it was a good collaboration because that song brings hope and peace to those uh, uneasy Taiwanese people at that time. Right? Yeah. That's amazing. And yeah. I think that that's a very interesting aspect to have with incorporating that into yeah. your music. Yeah. Now, you know, with the positive messages that you do put out there, is there any, like, act of, like, kindness or anything that maybe your fans might have done that kind of, like, caught your attention, like, wow, like... Oh, you guys. okay. So uh, last week I, wa- I I performed at the San Francisco, okay. and uh, there was a uh, half Taiwanese... Have Taiwanese American taught me. Uh, my mom didn't teach me how to be a Taiwanese, but your music taught me how to be a Taiwanese. That was really inspiring, oh. and uh, I received uh, kindness, ki- kindness wherever I travel. Just like every time when I, like for example, every time when I was in New York, mm-hmm. there was a uncle called uh, Patrick. He let me stay in his house for free oh. every time. Oh, wow. Not actually not only for me. He let uh, those uh, artists from Taiwan who need that help. So that's like super kindness that's for sure. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, you put out positive energy and it gets reciprocated yeah. back to you. Well, I'm excited to actually see you perform today. I'm pretty sure everybody at home is excited to see you perform. Well, before we leave, I can't just let you leave without playing a game, okay? okay sure. So we're going to play a game called This or That. And it goes pretty fast, though. So are you ready? Okay. I'm just going to say a few categories and you have to tell me which one you prefer, okay? Okay. All right, so I know that you're a vegetarian, so the first one I'm going to do, uh, spinach or broccoli? Spinach. Okay. Uh, basketball or football? Basketball. I play uh, three times every week. Oh, my God. Yes. Really? Yes. So, so like, you and Steph Curry, like, who who you? You? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Jay-Z or Nas? Nas. Nas, because that's your boy? Yes. All right. <laughs> and um, breakfast or dinner? Breakfast, because that's very important to for our health. All right. Yeah. Awesome. And last but not least, Beyonce or Becky with the good hair? Beyonce, of course. You didn't even have time to think about that. You just was yeah, Beyonce. 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 But you don't even know what Becky with the good hair looks like. I thought I met her. <laughs> Beyonce all the way. Yeah. Well, I had such a great time chopping it up with you. Up next, we're going to see you perform. But at first, why don't you tell the people at home where they can follow you at, where they can listen to your music, all that good stuff. Yeah, search D-W-A-G-I-E, Doggy on Facebook. I will be there. All right. Well, you guys heard it here. This is Sasha Nicole with Hype Magazine, and we're tuning out. Shout, 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 shout,